What about the rest of the world? How does it see India's historic move? You can divide the response in three broad groups. Silence, support, and the standard, this is India's internal matter, which it is. First, let's me, let me tell you about the two big setbacks from, for Pakistan on this front. Who does Pakistan count on to target India? America and the Muslim world. And both have refused to side with Pakistan on this matter. Look at the American response. To Pakistan's immense disappointment, America has said that Kashmir is India's internal matter, and rightly so. Then comes the UAE, a leading force in the Muslim world and a country that has given billions of dollars in aid to Pakistan. What did the UAE say? This is India's internal matter, no sympathy for Pakistan and no support for its protests. This is what happened today. The Organization of Islamic Cooperation, or OIC, met in Jeddah. It's a group of 57 Islamic nations. They had one agenda to discuss, and that's Kashmir. We cannot confirm what transpired there and if there was a decision, but we can tell you that one of their leading members, the United Arab Emirates, has said that India's move encourages peace and stability. I'm sure Pakistan does not like the sound of it. The United Nations, as you heard, has, as always, urged restraint. It said that it is concerned about the rising tensions urge all parties to exercise restraint. Uh, I would add, as I've already said to, to some of you by, by email, that over the past few days, the UN Military Observer Group in India and Pakistan, otherwise known as UNMOGIP, has observed and reported an increase in military activity along the line of control. Kashmir is a sensitive matter. No country would want to speak on a conflict that doesn't directly affect them. But in diplomacy, not saying anything is also a statement. So not responding to Pakistan's protests is tacit support for India. Now let me tell you about the countries which have spoken. Sri Lanka lauded the creation of India's first Buddhist majority state, the Union Territory of Ladakh. Taking to Twitter, Prime Minister Ranil Vikram Singh said, and I quote, Ladakh will become an Indian state with 70% of Ladakh's population being Buddhist. It will be the first Indian state with a Buddhist majority. Creation of Ladakh and consequential restructuring is India's internal matter. Note that. It is a beautiful region, well worth a visit, and we agree with that. The second word of support came all the way from the Netherlands. Right-wing Dutch politician Geert Wilders hailed India's decision. He tweeted, and I'm quoting, Welcome home, Kashmir. Not just that, he also said that Pakistan is a 100% terror state. The Guardian in the UK headlined that India's move would have its consequences. It focused on the tensions with Pakistan and the fear of an outbreak of violence. China was most critical of the impact of India's actions on the mainly Buddhist region of Ladakh, and China has a vested interest there, an area of strategic importance nestled between Tibet and Pakistan. The Chinese government said it undermined China's sovereignty. China's Global Times, which is the government's mouthpiece, reported it as Kashmir's special status in jeopardy. While it's no more in jeopardy, it's gone forever. There is no more a special status. The piece mostly spoke of Pakistan's condemnation of it and the heightened troop deployment in Kashmir. Not surprisingly, the Chinese only take their own sovereignty seriously.